Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to another episode of the 99 Names of Allah with John Fontaine. This Ramadan, we've been going through the names and attributes of Allah, and inshallah, we plan to cover the whole 99 names. Now, of course, as I mentioned before, there are more than 99 names that scholars have deduced from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But we're going to we're going through a particular selection of the 99 names of Allah, so that we can be more familiar with Allah and His attributes. The first name we're going to speak about today is Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman means that Allah is extremely merciful in a good way, meaning that He Himself has attributed mercy to Himself. He possesses, He is the one that possesses the tremendous and extensive mercy. So as an attribute himself, he is Ar-Rahman. And the next name we speak about is Ar-Rahim. That he is the bestower of that mercy. He is the one who actually bestows that mercy on his creation. So there's a difference here between Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. Some of the scholars say that Ar-Rahman is in terms of himself, that he has the attribute, he is the one who is extremely merciful. Well, Al Rahim is that he bestows that mercy on his creation. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah, there's an authentic hadith by the Prophet ﷺ that he said that Allah has separated his mercy into a hundred parts, and only one part he sent to the earth. And this one part of mercy is what the creatures deal with each other with. To the extent that, subhanAllah, that an animal would lift its hoof so it wouldn't hurt its offspring. SubhanAllah, if you think of the mercy of Allah that we see in this world, we see the way the mother is with the child. Allah is even more merciful than this. So when you're asking Allah, Ask Allah with these names, Ar-Rahman, the one who possesses the, 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 the attribute of mercy. And Ar-Rahim, the one who bestows his mercy on, on the creation. Oh Allah, bestow your mercy on me and my family. Use these names in your dua. This next name is very important. Because a lot of the time, especially in this modern world, it's difficult to live. Things have become very expensive. The food, the bills, the rent, especially in the West and all over the world, the world is facing a crisis where everything is becoming expensive. And this is why we have to remember that Allah is a razak that He is the great provider. He is the one that provides you your money. He, it's not your boss at work. He is the one who, is, who gives you your sustenance, your food, your accommodation. A razak provides food and sustenance for the whole creation. Not only does he provide sustenance, but he also provides the guidance for the creation. But as Muslims, he also provides the provision of beneficial knowledge and iman for his obedient servants. So you have general al-razaq where Allah provides for everyone, the whole creation, the Muslims, the non-Muslims, everyone, the animals. And He also provides the, the beneficial knowledge and the, the iman for His servants, the one who has, have chosen to submit to Him. This is al-razaq. 